Hello everyone, welcome back to Cloud Damage. Today we are going to go back into more news and topics today. You want to know why? Because I found this interesting. We're going to talk about layoffs and the current financial situation all these video game companies are in. So, the first thing that came up was that Tales of Kinzara Zao developer Surgeon Studios announces layoffs. And this was July 3rd, 3rd, 2024, 7.36 a.m. Wesley LeBlanc by Game Informer, which is, I really like Game Informer, or at least I used to like their magazines. So, here's the thing. Where is it? I haven't even, I haven't read any of these, so I'm going to come back, so I'm going to try and show y'all what I actually think about them right here. But what is it? Grows an unfortunately ever-growing list of students affected by that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So, uh, well, this was useless. Well, how many people are getting laid off? Tell me. I don't... So they're announcing layoffs. Have they not said how many? Whatever. Alright, All right, that's fine with me. It doesn't even announce how many. But So, here is the game industry layoffs in total. According to the estimated total in 2024, 10,800. You can literally come through here. Oh, Surgeon Studios, 12 affected so far. It's an indie type, according to Game Industry. Oh, I love this, actually, because now it shows you all the links, just in case you need to. Ubisoft Toronto, 33. Ubisoft Console, Game Loft Toronto, 49. 20, 24 from Paradox Tectonic. Console, Console. Techland, Unknown. Tencent, Parent Company. Embracer Group, actually, had 40 from the Pieces Interactive AB. So, here, now this is all 2024. Yeah, I believe this is 2024 and it's been updated as of the 2nd of July. Yeah, yeah. I know my, I know my, I know my months. So, let's go to the big dogs. Unity actually laid off on the 1st, on the January 8th, laid off 1800. That's uh, that's not good. That's uh, that's horrible. And there's a lot of a lot of smaller places. Riot Games, 530 ten cent online, based off of RiotGames.com. Another big one, Play Tecum, was a mobile. Twitch actually laid off 500 from Amazon. Hmm. Archiact, I actually don't know Archiact. Lost Boys Interactive, 125. And remember, I don't know how now. For Amazon and Twitch, 500 might not be a lot, but I do not know their full staffing. I don't know their staffing numbers in general. Now, this is the big one. Activision Blizzard, 1900. Microsoft, first, the 25th of January, 2024. Microsoft, uh, tech, uh, tech company, technically, I think. Um, I, I don't know what you would consider them. Electronic Arts, 670. Uh, publisher, interesting. PlayStation Studios in general has lost 900 people in general. Wildlife Studios, eh, about 130. So, Creative Assembly, Sega Hardlight, uh, that Sega, 240. Uh, a little bit more than I thought. Take Two Interactive, 600. That's a lot. Tango Gameworks, 150. Gameloft Cluj, 136. Phoenix Labs, 162. Sumo, 150 from Tencent. Timber from Tencent. So Tencent has been going around and kind of cutting their own, you know, cutting a little bit. But with this, I also want to bring back a little bit of information of the financial side of things. Because for anyone who doesn't understand, profit is extra money or money gained after all expenses are paid. So, if I had a business that costs $10,000 per year to operate in full, profit is $10,001. That $1 is an ex is profit now, because I have spent all my expenses. That is, that is how it works. Now, there are some this, that, and the others. I am not a financial person. I just know enough to make my own, make my own money, in the sense of, like, I can... I can manage my own money very well. However, for anyone who doesn't understand, now, there are a lot of things that go into profit with giant businesses. I am not arguing the good 
or the bad. I will, however, say there are a lot of things that happen, especially in a company that runs, you know, 10,000 people, that there are a lot of expenses that just magically appear that you don't necessarily know about or understand or this, that, or the other that might ruin the profit. However, even in saying that, if I make, I, I pressure wash sometimes, all right? Pressure washing in general, minimum of 200. My expenses in general is probably 50 bucks just in case I need to buy a new wire for the pressure washing machine and some gasoline, 50 bucks. So if I make $200 or 250, I just made $200 in profit. That's simple. I made a lot of, or I made exponential profit that will pay off any damages three times over. And if I collect a new client and get a new segment to do or another business deal, my profits have saved me for another, po uh, you know, possible few months of expenditure. The issue I'm having and a lot of people are having in believing in these tech companies and video games right now is that what is it? Video game statist uh, statistics in 2024, the revenue of the US worldwide video game market is $282.30 billion. Billion. Now that is all gaming markets, all of them. Anything that's considered a video game, this out of the other, collectively, they have made $282 billion as of right now. However, their, their expected great growth of annual rate is almost 9% between 2024 and 2027. So no matter what right now, they are growing the amount of money they are making. So a lot of you are going to ask questions of why are they doing layoffs? when they are also you know making when they are making profit making you know record profits and i have another see exactly here and after the industry grew to an estimated 406 billion god that is <clears throat> after Ooh, that's estimated i don't mm. The revenue was 406 actually, actually in 2023. Now the estimation, now there's an estimation in 2029, it's gonna be $666 billion. That is a lot of money. So my whole point I'm bringing up is this, Activision Blizzard profits. Their profit margin or their profit at the end of the day was $8.7 billion. But they also, Blizzard just cut off 1,900 people. I am not going to, exp I don't have any information outside of, what was it? See, this point, what was it? Moving into these numbers, expected revenue total over 7 billion quarters. That's up for now. So here's the problem. A lot of people are going to ask questions about this, that, and the other. And I can only explain it in my limited my limited financial understanding here is why a lot of people don't like shit like this the reason why we don't like hearing about layoffs because we watching from the outside hear this record profits ah where is it where's the number i want the number oh my god microsoft the actual value of Microsoft as of right now is over three trillion dollars. That is money. That is mm, high. But again, around 1900 people, uh, look at Activision Blizzard and Bethesda or 8% of the gaming workforce. Damn that, that. That means they have a lot of people. That's probably what, 20,000 people. So my whole Xbox revenue total over seven billion in the quarter ended in December. That's up. That's up forty nine percent. Xbox uh, Activision Blizzard was contributing two billion. This makes gaming the makes gaming the third biggest contributor to all Microsoft sales. 
Oh, so Microsoft not only does, yeah, yeah. Yes. There was some organic, or Xbox, okay, so, the again, I don't know what he is explaining. I don't understand what he is exactly going over. Three months. So it was a record breaking last year or this year ending December of 7.11 billion. So, so I don't know what he's explaining. So 5.7% growth rate moving the latest year, which happens to cover the gaming revenue expanded 7% to rise above 18 billion for the first time. God. So. I'm going to put my opinion on the line here and say that people are greedy as absolute fuck and they just don't want to pay people because money. So I don't remember. I can't remember exactly which company. I think it was Nintendo or Capcom. I can't remember which one. One of those companies in gaming that were going through possible layoffs, but the president decided I'm going to cut my salary in half so I don't have to lay anyone off. And that brought and that shows me and a lot of you gamers, I bet, probably agree, that shows us that if a person truly cared about their actual people, they would make that sacrifice. But that's also a beautiful standard of what a leader should do. A real leader, not a corporate money hungry person. I understand businesses have to do certain things. But at the same time, sometimes you have to sacrifice to keep your business afloat and then you'll get it back later. Promise you, Nintendo is doing fine. They are having very few issues. But when I hear Microsoft, Activision, Blizzard cut 1900 people, but they just made record $7.11 billion in profit. And this, remember guys, this is always added profit in the sense of last year they made profit this year they made profit their expenditures probably didn't grow that much now activision blizzard was a bit of a that did gain a lot of um expenditure i uh, it's net impact he, he goes into a lot of shit i sadly do not understand see so he's talking about all this revenue. I don't know who their expenditure. That is the one thing. But remember, they made a lot of money. Now, again, this is just my opinion. I am not a financial person. But again, one other instance I wanted to show was Electronic Arts. Gross profit for the 12 months ending March 20. Well, ending March 31, 2024 was 5.8 billion. Three four percent increase year over year. Annual gross, annual gross profit for tw was 5.8. 2023. So they've been making profit almost five, almost six billion dollars in profit every year, meaning everything they so all that profit can be saved up later. So they are fine. They are and they've been doing this probably for years. So they are good with their expenditures. However, EA to lay off more than 600 employees. Why? You have record profits. And you've had record profits for the last like four years. Or at least you've had a continuous gross, a continuous annual growth of profit for the last like five, ten years. Well, probably five years, I think, is a better way of saying it. My reason, I'm going to just explain to y'all the way I understand it. Remember, I am not a financial guru. I just know enough that like, to my head, it just doesn't sound right. I don't know. And I also will say, I don't know their expenditures. I don't know how much it costs to operate these businesses. Clearly, though, clearly it's not enough. Because if you're making five billion in profits, but still laying off people, you're either greedy or you have some dumb motherfuckers you know, working with you. I'm having the same issue at my job. We we made nine billion in profit last year, and we just and we just did like twelve hundred like twelve thousand layoffs for some reason. Even though I promise you, even though it doesn't make sense because we've been making profit for like the last 
10 years. Like we've always made profit. We've never gone into the we never gone into the red. So it's one of those things of like as a gamer, when we hear someone lay off but also make record profits, we're just like, so you're a liar. We we don't I don't like a company that says that. That that lies to your face when they also because you just ruined people's lives. You did. You just ruined it. You just ruined their life or at least partially a part of it but you're also telling us we have to spend 70 bucks to keep you going but you still made what was it diablo immortals made record profits as a video game i think it was like a world i don't know if it was worldwide or if it was just for them but they made like 287 like million dollars off of like a certain amount of time but the thing it but the problem is as general people we just hear this shit and i and, I, and some of y'all might disagree i don't you know let me know but a lot of us come into this thinking if you're making all remember this is not five million in profit not five million five billion billion that is a lot of money now for a company i understand that is probably not that much money but at the same time billion in profits eh, that's that's a lot that's a good bit because you've already spent the because the expenditures are crossed out now you don't have to worry about spending money anymore it is just one of those things of it's it's very scummy to hear hey i just made i made five billion dollars but i'm gonna let you all go because i don't want to spend money on you and that's our and that's my perspective on it i get it businesses have their own but again, when I have seen a business take the more high moral road of saying, hey, I'm going to cut my money so you can keep your job and live in a really horrible economy. When I hear that and then I hear this, I'm like, well, clearly there's a better version of a business working around here. There are not greedy people in this world. This just sounds like corporate greed. And that is exactly what it is. And I'm not trying to shit on them, but when you look like a greedy bastard, I'm not happy, no one's happy, and then when your game comes out looking like shit because you laid off too many people, well, eh, we don't really cry about it, do we? Now, that would have been cool having a first-person shooter. But again, I'm sorry, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to try and do more uh, news-based things, more news based items and videos because i like the news i am trying to learn to do more research but again that's just that's my opinion i do not i do not like how corporate greed is killing one people in their jobs and their lives even though they are making rec record profits that is the problem if someone ha if i have an expenditure of 10 million dollars i have to spend 10 million no matter what to keep my business running but then i make 2 billion no offense but and i then just tell you hey i need to cut you out because i want to save me more money you're a shitty human being again i'm gonna hear a lot of people be like no but the business is blah, blah. i'm just like but i i've explained it you're ex clearly there's an expenditure that is not that much if you made one billion in profit, okay, that's a little different. But five means you clearly are making money somehow. Regardless, I hope you all enjoy. I will see you on the next one. All right, peace.